Hey yo, right now, you basing your eyes on Papoose, and you locked into truthiscary.com. Be aware. Your source for alternative news and celebrity views. It's truthiscary.com. Log on and be aware. I would have to say one of them, you know what I'm saying, definitely, I would have to say the, the assassination of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, you know, the consistency of assassinations in all, all of our great leaders. I would like to know more about that. It's not a coincidence, you know. They built more jails and prisons than schools. That's frightening. Oh, I don't think it's a coincidence for the simple fact of the truth in it. You know what I mean? It's right in front of your face. Why would you build more prisons than places to... Pr Why would you build more places to incarcerate somebody and lock them up than you would build for somebody to go and learn? It's obvious these, this is the pl places you would rather them to be at. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. I definitely think it's a nutrition problem in our society. Um, you know, if you look at some of these places, they sell fruit and drugs in the same store together nowadays. You know what I'm saying? That's That never was like that at one time. Um... I think it's a nutrition problem when a lot of black people die at young ages. A lot of us have cancer, heart problems, you know what I'm saying, especially the heart problems with the cholesterol, high blood pressure. We're definitely not eating right. Do you think it's a conspiracy? Or? Do I think it's a conspiracy? Yes, I think it's a conspiracy, definitely. I definitely think it's a conspiracy that every corner or other corner in the ghetto has liquor stores. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not like that in, in other neighborhoods. Definitely. I think AIDS is a part of population control. You know what I'm saying? I think AIDS is man-made. AIDS? Yes, AIDS and HIV virus, definitely. Can you like, continue or elaborate on that? Yeah, I can elaborate. Um, basically, AIDS is a man-made disease. You know what I'm saying? It's simple and plain. You know what I'm saying? They had came up with a lot of different theories as to where they said it started in Africa and all of this nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Then they, first, they, first they said it came because men was having sex with a monkey, which is impossible, you know what I'm saying, to happen. Then they said it started in Africa, did not start in Africa. It's a known fact that if you analyze it, it it's basically something that shuts down your immune system. You understand what I'm saying? And um, when they give you surgery, you know, when people go into surgery for different things, they have to suppress your immune system so you won't fight off the things that they're putting into your body. You understand what I'm saying? So that shows you right there that they know how to control the immune system. But after surgery, what they do, they give you something to trigger it back, to kick it back up. You know what I'm saying? So that's what basically, that's just, I'm just pointing it out to show you, you know, one of the things that proves that AIDS is man-made. Definitely man-made. It's, it's, it's about rich and poor. Yes, I do. Because um, I, that's real deep, man. 9-11, I could go on and on for that. with that. You know what I'm saying? But one of the things I'm going to say is that um, just look at how the buildings fell. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't fall as if, you know, the plane hit the building and the building fell. No. It fell exactly how a building falls when they do what? Controlled demolition. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just point that out for you. And... <laughs> 4,000 4, people didn't come to work that day. I'm not going to say who them people was, but 4,000 people didn't come to work on that particular day. And it's not, again, once again, it's not a coincidence. That's all I'm going to say right now. I mean, basically, basically, you know, one of the things that you know, the guys from Iraq and overseas and all that, one of the things they say about Americans is Americans can't go to war with them because Americans are afraid to die. So just to answer your question, you know, I'm not, yes, I have, a, yes, I'm, I'm prepared because I'm not afraid to die. You understand what I'm saying? I, I'm not afraid to die, you know what I mean? I would love to be here for my family, and I want to be here, and I plan on being here for my family. But 
any situation that presents itself, I'm not afraid to die. So, you know, I don't live in fear of things of that nature, but I do have knowledge and I am aware of it. Yeah, yeah, I think the Illuminati is real. It's all about rich getting richer and, and, and poor getting poorer. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these, a lot of these dudes sat down and had talks with, you know, with, with higher force to do certain things. You know what I mean? To keep the poor people more poor and the rich richer. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things involving the whole Illuminati situation. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I believe it's real. Yeah, I mean, they have control, you know what I mean, just uh, when you're using the word like control, we go back to things like population control. So, you know what I'm saying, I, w I would say yes, they have control. It's here. It's here. It, it's here now, because basically, you know, peace to all the gods and the earths out there, in the 90s, they was telling us basically that, and I can even go back to the AIDS situation. You know what I'm saying? Since you asked me about, you know, you know, do I think it's uh, man-made or something to that degree, you asked me. In the 90s, I'm talking about in the 90s, I had the knowledge of everything that's going on right now. You know what I mean? They even said that, you know, eventually money is going to be gone. We're going to be using more plastic. I knew about this in the 90s. And just to elaborate on the AIDS situation, you know, the reason why they created AIDS is because they knew. They said by the year... 2000 or that's why they were saying oh the world's going to be over it's basically was a new world order coming into effect that's one of the things they meant but they said there wasn't going to be enough fuel you see we had the gas crisis it was going to be was going to be enough fuel enough money look the recession is going on and they had to get rid of the they had to create something to get rid of the less desirable people you understand what i'm saying when they say the less des desirable people that's who the, the poor people, you understand what I'm saying? So that's why they put things like AIDS out there, HIV, to control the population. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? And um, your original question was um, New World Order. New World Order is definitely f in full effect. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that's going on, they're keeping track of what we're doing at all times. You know, just, you know, your, your whereabouts. E you got um, OnStar, Easy Pass. All of this GPS, you know what I mean? All this stuff is keeping track. All these tracking, de different tracking devices, you know what I'm saying? All our people being incarcerated, falsely accused, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different things. But the New World Order is here now. A lot of stuff that's going on now was predicted in the 90s. New World Order, Illuminati, I've been new about all that. A lot of cats are jumping on the bandwagon. And they putting a lot of these rappers up there and saying, oh, he's a part of the Illuminati. Oh, he's a this. He, but they don't really have the knowledge to understand that we living in, in those times now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely I believe I think the New World Order is real. You know, if you, if I had, if you had the vegetables and I had the bread, we would do what? We would trade. You know what I'm saying? Simple. You know what I mean? At one time it was enough dollars. You know what I mean? In our economy, as it was gold bars in, in Fort Knox, now it's not. The, the, the American dollar is not worth it. You know what I'm saying? So what is, what, what is money, really? It's nothing. I think the world would be a better place. No. No? <laughs> Hell no. That was fake, man. Look at, all the, look at all of the stuff they got now in these movies, man. You know what I'm saying? Now they make it to us like it's something new, but they've been had that technology. People was watching that shit on TV. Oh, he's on the moon. <laughs> Get out of here with that. To be religious is to be serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm religious about what I'm saying right now. I'm serious about it. But that's as far as you can take it. I mean, just to, just just to define the word. You know what I mean? To answer your question, to be religious is to be serious. So, you know, whatever whatever is the God of your understanding. I don't knock nobody for, you know, praising and praying to the God that they understand it because that helps them maintain their family and keep civilization in their life. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't knock nobody. You know what I'm saying? But to be religious is definitely to be serious. Shout out to Kevin Reese. He wanted me to speak about harp. I mean, definitely, definitely, I think a lot of people should take out the time to look more into harp. I do believe that harp caused earthquakes, you know what I'm saying? Basically, to a lot of y'all who doesn't know what harp is, it's, it's basically, I'm going to give y'all a brief on it. It's basically a large field of antennas 
and that sits in a field, an open field. I think it's in Alaska, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, when pointed at the sky, it can move the qu move the clouds, manipulate the weather. When pointed at the ground, it can cause earthquakes. You know what I'm saying? And all and also when pointed at people, it can actually make you sick, make you feel nauseous, control your bowel movement, and things of that nature. And if you analyze the Gulf War they had with Saddam Hussein, you know they was ready to go to war, and eventually all of his soldiers came out with their hands on their head because they used harp in that particular war. You understand what I'm saying? And it actually it puts you in a you know surrendering position. It, it makes you you know what I mean, want to surrender, you know what I mean? And like I said, it control your bowel movement, cause nausea, and a lot of things of that nature. And if you look at all of these hurricanes, they definitely can manipulate the weather, you know, move the clouds and manipulate the weather, point at the ground, cause earthquakes. Definitely, I believe Harp is real. Your source for alternative news and celebrity views. It's truthiscary.com. Log on and be aware.